Let's talk about chocolate. Let's assume that the price of chocolate will go up. Therefore, what will happen to your consumption of chocolate? It will go up or down? It will go down because at higher prices, you're going to buy less number of units of chocolate. Therefore, the quantity demanded will go down. And this negative relationship between price and the quantity demanded is called law of demand. So if I asked you to define what do you mean by law of demand, you could say that we have an inverse relationship between price and the quantity demanded, or we have a negative relationship between price and the quantity demanded, or if the price go up, quantity demanded will go down, or if the price goes down, quantity demanded will go up. So let's get a numerical example. This is our price and this is our quantity demanded. If price is $1, quantity demanded is 10. If we increase the price to 2, quantity demanded will be lower, so it will be 8. If we increase the price to 3, quantity demanded will be lower to 6. If we increase the price to 4, quantity demanded will be lower to 4. If we increase the price to 5, quantity demanded will be lower to 2. Now, let's draw this relationship between price and quantity demanded. So, in our y-axis, we will put the price and on our x-axis we will put the quantity demanded. So let's start with the first one at price of 1, quantity demanded is 10. So this means that I need to put here quantities as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and on the prices I will put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at quantity demanded 10, this is at price 1. So here at price of 1 we have quantity demanded of 10. Then at price of 2, quantity demanded is 8. At price of 3, quantity demanded is 6. At price 4, quantity demanded is 4. At price 5, quantity demanded is 2. Let's connect all these points. This will give us the demand curve. So, I would like you to be able to differentiate between the quantity demanded and demand curve. So, what do you mean by quantity demanded? Quantity demanded is a certain quantity at a certain price. For example, if I tell you that at price of 2, what will be our quantity demanded? So, you will tell me it's 8. So this is called, this 8 is called the quantity demanded. So from the graph, can you tell me what's our quantity demanded? So I will look here at price of 2, it will give me quantity demand of 8. So this means that this point on the demand curve, it refers to quantity demanded. Therefore, we could say that quantity demanded is a certain quantity at a certain price. Or from our graph, it's any point on the demand curve is called quantity demanded. Then, what will be our demand curve? Demand curve, it means that the entire demand schedule, the entire demand table, which means different quantities at different prices. Consequently, if I'd like to draw it from the graph, it means that the whole curve is called demand curve. Therefore, we could say that the demand is the entire demand schedule, the whole demand table, or from the graph, it's the entire curve is called demand. It's very important that you would be able to differentiate between quantity demanded and demand. So any point on the demand curve is called quantity demanded. The entire curve is called demand curve. 